Hello everyone, I'm Ace8 and this is the Road to 56 mod for Hearts of Iron 4. And I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. Everything that can be fragmented or... Everything that can be fragmented or decolonized will be fragmented or decolonized into, into individual nations. And I'm going to turn off historical AI and play as Andorra. Yes, Andorra, this tiny little country that didn't get involved in World War II or World War I. And we are just going to see what the hell is going to happen. So basically, the way this mod handles it is by calculating a peace conflict. This is going to be interesting. Oh, the Ethiopian Empire and the Kingdom of Italy have... Let's see how God, this is. These are all in their own separate kingdom. No fa joint factions. Yeah, I got Ireland united. This is just first. And I love it. Yep. The Sami Republic, what are they doing? Salacious, so they're not going to do anything. The Confederate States of America have arisen somehow, and yes, that is exactly what the option in the map serve is. Here we are, Andorra la, la Vela, right next to the Catalan Republic. Oh, this guy does not look very happy. Spain doing, we're just going to have a civil war. The Basque Republic, Alicia, Gibraltar is part of England, Morocco. I'm going to play this now. So we can go down the historical path, which is we stay out of everything and then just watch the world burn, I guess, or end the status quo and then either become a French protectorate. Puppet, or a flexible foreign policy, which, from my own testing, gives us a generic focus tree. The mod claims this makes them stronger. Yes. Oh, we've only two slots. Wow. So, basic machine tools it is, and construction one. We have no factories at all. Um, huh. What have I got myself into here? And the only thing we have going for us is this mouse's people modifier that the mod adds. So our infantry will do move faster and defend better in mountainous terrain, and mountaineers even more so. We also have a neutral following policy. Disarmed nation, so you can see we have a whopping 34 manpower. So what, that's an infantry platoon at most? Next, our focus and the civilian economy. This is probably going to be one of the stupidest things I've ever done, but once the Spanish Civil War kicks off, I might try. I might try just taking over some of the Spanish republics. Starting obviously with Catalan. Elsewhere in the world, yeah, pretty much every Soviet potential. Oh, I, Every site that was in the USSR has been released. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Cambodia, Vietnam, Laos. Malaysia, Indonesia. Independent state of Papua New Guinea. The Melanesian Federation, Solomon Islands, <laughs> Independent States of Samoa. This is just. Oh, we could actually go with the military theorist for what good that's going to do. 
needs a way to guess in army defense or army offense. I also have the um, any of this anti submarine expert. This is probably going to be the last person I'm going to fill out. Ooh, air reformer, that's nice. From that, artillery specialist, army logistics, yeah. cavalry, combat training. What else do we have here? Silent workhorse, yes, definitely going to go with that first. This gentleman needs a spy agency for that, and then. You know what, I'm probably just going to have this country go fascist and try and take over as many places as I can. See how far I can take it. Well, this is a, things have already gone a bit off the rails here. France is turning to fascists. Hmm, interesting. And yeah, this is going to change us over to the default... Uh, what do you call it? The generic focus tree. Also give us a little bit of political power to kick kickstart things. Actually, Mr. Andre Casal. No the That's interesting. No the main language of Andorra is Catalan. We don't speak that at all. Sardinia, Corsica, yeah. Napoli. Most Serene Republic of Venice. You know, that's a way to actually play as them and see how they do. Yeah, we could give limited rights to people. Gain. So that would gain us an extra 100 manpower for a week, which, considering how few we actually have, that would be. Interesting. We'll go with interesting. Well, no point going with anything but concentrated industry because we have almost no factories whatsoever. And not like we'll be able to build up enough of an anti air force to deal with them. Like the ones we do have. And now, behold the generic focus tree for Rhodes 56 in all its glory. First things first, focus on internal matters. Certainly, we do not have nearly enough manpower to even get one division. Probably can't even design, design one. So, this is going to take a while. The next person I'm going to spend this on will be a fascist demagogue. Go with a fortification engineer. Because we're going to be quite good at building forts here. We've got the terrain for it. Now what? We don't even have great war artillery. We should fix that. That's something to uh, aim towards. We can become Catalonia if we control Catalonia. Do we know what kind of military they have? One to five. We do not have enough for this. Might as well with limited rights now because I won't be able to get this if I go fascist. So this will give me an extra manpower a week. Which, you can see that we've literally just at least doubled the amount we had. Still not enough to actually do anything, but... but once I've got this nationalism focus, my plan is to go straight into industry. So, begin the industrial build-up, expand the military capacity, then go through these. Probably won't be able to get any of these because of the screwed up nature of the world. But let's just see how this goes. I'm fully expecting this to go badly wrong. 
It's, it should be something interesting. Well, the Spanish Civil War has kicked off. It's where the fun begins, as they say. So neither have declared war on the Catalan Republic, which me fine. Oh, they might be going nationalist. This could be interesting. We can finally guess Army Chief of Staff. Lot of command. Now we can we can afford single infantry battalion. I mean our core population is what? Three and a half. Point is, it's ridiculously low. Okay, it looks like this is bugged, and I can't. And the focus to add military factories has done nothing. This is annoying. Yet I apparently have the two here. But this makes zero sense at all. Okay, so let's try adding some civilian ones, see if they do anything. No, England considers continental intervention. What are they doing? Staying democratic. Hmm. Wales is going democratic. Nice to see. Ooh, Ireland might be going. Scotland is going. Marcus? Huh. Flemish Republic and well, and the Wallon Republic are going being democratic. Plus, um. And what this is going to do? Hmm. Barry is going going fascist. Look at what they're doing. Hmm. So obviously they got rid of Mussolini. The guys got rid of Mussolini. Republic is going fascist. It's the um. So is the Breton Free Republic. You know, it's beginning to look like I should have just stayed with the whole... with the default tree, just and then just watched how everything goes. Serbia has declared war on Macedonia. See that going, going too well? Macedonia. And... Or the Hellenic Republic. Oh, now I can actually do it. It took a, took a damn long while for them to actually do anything. Of course, now we have no steel. But no matter. Sure. It just took forever for them to be built. I don't know if that's just some weird thing of the mod, of the mod or something of the game, base game or what. Oh, the is the kingdom of Afghanistan has declared war on the Islamic emirs of Yemen. Another day, another war. Oh, and now the anarchists have declared have joined in the Spanish Civil War. This is going to get complicated. And just. Yeah, guns were too. Basically, I'm going to try and get two cavalry battalions to try and take Barcelona very quickly. This is probably going to fail badly, but. Oh. Yep, yeah. Poland has gone off the rails. Well, off the rails, but. So the Polish Peasant Union is in a 
in a faction with the Republic of Ukraine, the Kingdom of Volat, aka what was Dracula's country, Czech Republic. Of course, because this is a civil war, they're not going to get involved. Well, they might send volunteers, but that would. <laughs> And the focus to um, add civilian factories doesn't seem to have done anything yet. It seems to take a while for them to actually please sink in. Oh. That the Organization of Central American States. What's... The UK Ukrainian Strait leaves the... This is this world has gone off the rails already. Well, we have now changed to phalangism, and this guy does not look very happy. Come on, mate! Come on, mate! Cheer up! We're all the country now. So we're now the Falanga State of Andorra. Our war support is abysmally low. Oh. See, can I get this immediately? Perfect. I can get I can get a new another research slot, which we badly need. Can't get this until I get excavation three. Uh, I may have made a few bad decisions here. After steel production, I do need to get construction three first. I then just need to research this. I technically could skip these two. And then after after this, new schools of modern teaching, militarism for that extra group of population, war support, and XP, the Union of Central Ar Arabian States joins the common term. As I was saying, militarism, organize the youth, and then I'm going to go into the, uh, try and go into this if, my, if I have my two cavalry battalions by then. I even have a commander. Of course, it's in Spanish because they. I'm just gonna have them train up. Where was I? So this is the Union of Central Arabian States. Yeah, we do not have enough manpower for this. You know, I have a feeling we will not be able to push through. What a hunch. Now, the Carlists have got involved in this. This is getting complicated indeed. Oh, they finally built these factories, like... Why does it take so long? Well, this is pretty cursed. It's literally... Fascist Croatia, and... Looking like authoritarian France. Along with democratic U England. In a faction. Well, the Serbian state declared war on... Bosnia and Slovenia. War goal against Croatia, so it's going to end up with those guys. This is a first playthrough. That for now, and since we actually have divisions, the Andorran General Staff. Develop our plans quickly because taking your time isn't going to be worth anything here. Hell, we're actually gaining. Is that going to get us in total? Probably not a lot. Like, will I have enough to build infantry division on top of this? 5,300 people, 12 artillery, and 500 infantry. 
at the infantry equipment, so maybe building up the artillery. Probably don't have as the manpower. This is such a dumb idea. Why does I agree decide to do this? I'm using the word cursed a lot, but it looks like I don't know what they're actually do what they're going to be doing here, but Russia has some internationalism going on, so they are going to start going. Might be going communist. Bavaria is going. Wurttemberg are going communist. Over, saying monarchist. What the you guys are doing? They staying? Alsace Lorraine is going in fashion. Saxony is staying monarchist. Mecklenburg staying monarchist. Leswig Holstein going fascist. They have. Do you even have a clue what's going on here? They sure as hell don't. Norway has declared arms neutrality. Looks like they're st Sweden is staying democratic. They're staying democratic well by the look of things. Finland is staying democratic. So is Iceland. Greenland are Be going where this is gonna go. We have just got our first about got our first infantry division. Still slightly short of manpower for it, but I think we'll get there in time. Such a... Right, I usually go with superior firepower, but this time I'm going to go with mass assault. Because we need the extra... Where is the gun? These branches gives us a bonus to a recruitable population, and I forget which. Human wave offensive. Right. Mass assault it is. This is so stupid. Right. And I'm going to waste my army XP on political loyalty to get our stability up. And then state serves the military to try and gain extra power. Because we are going to, we are going to need a lot of that. Well, national Spain has fallen. But these guys are going to be going communist. Carlos Spain is not looking too good. And we probably do not have the numbers here. Okay, so India has declared war on the Kingdom of Sikkim. Bhutan has gone communist and called themselves the Union of the Red Dragon. Supposed to going fascist and calling themselves the Thunder Dragon Empire. Yep, that was really not a surprise there. This is going to get weird. So, this infantry battalion should be able to. Should be able to just hold this line. Just a
I don't know what's going to happen next. Huh. Well, now, Ireland has decided to go with being a, being a foil. You can tell from that. No idea what they're now. There, yeah, they're probably just going down this path. These two, but then I don't know what they're going to do. Well, Mexico's having another civil war. Second Cristiada. So we have this state versus. That's probably going to change. <laughs> the Sultanate of Assad declared, uh, declared war on the Anarcho Communist Union of, um, of Africa. So that's what Ethiopia has become. And they also have war goals against the Sultanate of Somalia. This. I have no clue what the hell is going on here. Pocket defense. Well, Asa has capitulated. Fill off a bit more than they could chew there. Narcocomis assembly. Still. Okay, the French state has declared war on the Republic in Corsica. And there's a war goal against the Breton Republic. And this is going to get. Four goals, four games, trying to get some extra production for the land and doctrines. Yep, and the allies are in that as well. Not going to get involved in that. But since it was involved getting him into a fight with. Ooh. The Northern European Treaty Organization has been founded. Huh. If they're going to end up with the Confederates. Oh, there's a Civil War. These are have gone to oligarchism and versus them. Well, this is going to get messy. I guess the USA really. We take it. We take it over. Okay. Actually, it is in the Allies. <sighs> I have no idea what's going on. Question is, do I want to now or it's well the for the few three battalions we have? Oh, Serbia has now declared war on Croatia. 
beans are going to be at war with all the federal state of Austria. Yeah, there it goes. A bit. The Slovenians. Good. Austria going to? Malaysia has a civil war now. The Islamic Republic of Malaysia versus Hang on, they're two different countries. Not down, I thought it was some kind of civil war going on. I've seen a lot of those around. Future Ace Aid here. This recording isn't going to complete because OBS screwed up on me and failed to record what happened after I declared war on Catalonia. Basically, it didn't go well. We got our arses handed to us. I'm not really surprised. So yeah, if you've got any suggestions for any future recordings I could try, put them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.